In today's video, we'll be going through technologies provided by Microsoft via Visual Studio 2022 for building desktop applications. Now, if you aren't confused by what is out there and why one might be choosing one over another, then consider yourself lucky. Right now, there are six technologies that Microsoft presents in Visual Studio for building traditional local user interfaces. And I say local here because obviously a website is a user interface hosted on a server side. And what we're looking for are user interface technologies that allow you to run the code on the user's device. We will be exploring the capabilities of these technologies by checking their ability to handle a consistent set of scenarios. We will see how they can run on different versions of .NET. Specifically, can they work with the latest .NET 8 bits? And as an extension of that, we will be checking to see what of the new language capabilities can be leveraged using these technologies. We will also see how well they interoperate with peer class libraries and other technologies, how well they deploy to the Windows Store, and for Xbox, we will check to see if there's any native capability for controller access, debugging, and locally publishing to an Xbox console. The first technology we'll be talking about is WinForms. Now, although WinForms is a great technology, and at this time the most stable in terms of likelihood of being jettisoned by Microsoft, we know for now that natively it can't be deployed to the Xbox. Nothing has changed much with WinForms in the past 20 years. It's still a drag and drop style interface. That's event driven. And of course, it works using .NET 8 at this time. Everything builds and runs perfectly. Language features are supported. And I can create if I have a class library. Now we have our reference class 
and I can add a reference to it. And in here, I can remove this. Now, how do you deploy a WinForm project to the Windows Store? Windows Application Packaging Project. And as you can see, the moment you start talking about packaging it for the Windows Store, you get the target version and minimum version, which is part of the whole deploying into uh, the Windows Store. Uh, moving forward, it seems like it's going to be a critical part of it. And then to package it. sample here and I can now set this as a start project and run that and here we have it deployed doing everything it's supposed to do working the same way and of course if I clicked on publish here I can create an app package for it for side loading or the Windows Store, whichever I so desire. I'm going here, select my certificate, let's create a basic certificate. We'll use x86. I wanted it, wanted to update it. Yes, I did. Get rid of that. So and now here's my package. Here's the MSIX bundle. And if this was um if I was publishing it to the store, it would be in um, Apex upload or some different uh, format, but basically to get this working on another person's machine You go in and you install the that ps1 file you run that file and after you run that file Then you can literally just double click this and it'll open up this guy right here Right, so it says it's already been installed. So this is a new um, app installation you can set icons images pretty much whatever so it's pretty cool how easily I can install even a WinForms application. Now, getting it into the store, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but that's WinForms. Now, deploying it to the Xbox. So typically what would happen here 
is that we would specify the machine name here for the Xbox and we'd use universal unencrypted and it should deploy onto the Xbox. So now let's test to see if it's deployed. So we enter the um, IP address of the Xbox. Like that. And here you see, it says, unable to activate Windows Store app, the activation request failed with the error operation not supported. So if we actually look at the Xbox, you can see that it did deploy WinForm package. And if we go here, it's the same thing, WinForm package. It's basically the same package ID between the two. So it does deploy, but for whatever reason, it does not activate because uh, the WinForm applications will actually not run on the Xbox, even though they will deploy there through uh, the app packaging solution. Stay tuned to this channel for future updates. We'll be giving away two, you heard it, two Surface laptops when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please like, share, subscribe to help us get to that point. Happy coding and have a blessed day.